I think it's safe to say that we live in a generation of booty. She's been eating her collard greens and look, the Lord has blessed her. A uh, perfect example, you can look at a person like Danny Lay, the singer Danny Lay. She has a brand new song called Levi High, okay? And so Levi High, like she has this challenge where girls, will, they're like, they, they booty will be facing the camera and they were putting on these jeans that we know are way too tight, but they still make it work. God bless you. I'm not a pervert, I'm just keeping it real. Way, way, way back in the day, if you told a woman that she had a big butt, it was a, like, it was an insult. Do you guys remember uh, this Twix commercial? It's like an old commercial, you remember this? <laughs> Porky pie, do I look fat in these? <laughs> you are so sweet. <laughs> Love you. When you need a moment, chew it over with Twix. They casted the wrong race to be in that commercial. I mean, this shot alone, ugh, people were so infatuated with, you know, with nice bodies and body goals and wanting our body to look a certain type of way, which is fine. I am a member of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Okay, I am a proud member. A lot of people like to get surgeries on said body parts to make themselves look better, to improve. And you know what? I don't have a problem with that either. Um, except for situations like this. My breasts are currently 6,640 cc's. Wow. Boobs. A double Z cup in the US and they're still growing. From there, it's gonna depend on how my skin is handling it. I'm not trying to sound mean. I'm gonna try my hardest to, uh, to be a gentleman about this. Like I said before, trying to be nice. But uh, her face kind of reminds me of, um, y'all remember uh, Will Smith's movie Hitch? Yeah, um, it's very funny how black women have uh, been chastised for having um, these natural features here, you know, uh, these wonderful natural looking lips here, but you have people spending millions and millions of dollars to make their lips look like something that black women uh, already have and, and sometimes get um, chastised for, which is very interesting. Regardless, I digress. Um, whatever. My name is Foxy and I have 6,640 cc breast. Each boob, there's a port. You get, there's a hose or a line. You're able to hook this up to your saline bag. You end up using a needle hooked on the line. You have about the diameter of a quarter to be able to fit that needle into otherwise you pop and you go sailing across the ceiling. I do not have a problem with a woman who gets surgery on their butt, who gets surgery on their chest. I don't have a problem with this. My problem begins and ends with <laughs> you freaking like it not matching your your body like i feel like if you're gonna get surgery you should at least make it seem like it is already a part of your body instead of completely different so it's just like all right let's say if i got surgery or whatever i feel like what would i get surgery on hold on for a second okay let's say that i got surgery on like I can't think of something I'd get surgery on. Your body part should just match your body, okay? Like, it, it, shouldn't lo it, sh it shouldn't look like you got work done. Like, isn't that the point? I don't know. Um, that was a terrible example, by the way. I apologize, I'm better than this. I started all of my surgeries five or six years ago. I got divorced. When I got divorced, I went ahead and so I got my first two boob jobs within three months, and then it kind of snowballed from there. Honestly, if she didn't say that was her, I would have, I would have, I, I don't know what I would have thought, but like she definitely looks different. 
And I don't even think that it's like a good difference. I don't know, man. It's just like, I, I guess maybe she was up, so upset because her uh, her marriage didn't last. And maybe that divorce rocked her so well, like rocked, rocked her so much that maybe she wants to get, uh, wanted to get these surgeries. She got that Michael Jackson skin, as a matter of fact. That's the type of skin Michael Jackson had before he checked out. My one breast had opened up three and a half inches. Um, the surgeon stopped talking with me and wouldn't pick up my phone or answer my emails. And I was scared for my life. I went to Europe and um, I had it fixed. And at the same time, I'm a value shopper. So for the same price, I was able to get expanders and make my boobs grow even bigger. So she has an emergency, medical emergency. Things are going wrong. Um, so she goes to Europe to get it fixed. And while she's there, she said, well, since I'm here, I might as well just get an upgrade on my areolas. I ain't no Dr. Phil, but this woman is insecure. I have nowhere else. I mean, listen, like I, I shouldn't have. Stevie Wonder could see through this. If my friends were doing stuff like this, first of all, like I said before, if they had one surgery, I wouldn't give a crap. If they had two surgeries, I'd be like, okay, well, by that third surgery, when you start looking, looking like something out of a comic book, then I would say something because if you're risking your health, continuing, like back pain, girl, I know a couple of women who are, uh, who are friends of mine who have uh, large breasticles. And they have expressed to me how those large breasticles cause back pain, lots of back pain. Uh, and so I can only imagine how much pain this woman has to go through. Like, good Lord. I mean, like, man, those some big titties. This is, man, like, you, are, you can hide a lot of things in them titties. And Osama Bin Laden been hiding in them titties all this time. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to achieve the perfect hourglass figure. More of a Jessica Rabbit or a vintage pinup look. Okay, this is the problem. She said something that kind of, um, <laughs> I don't really, I didn't really like. So she said that she wanted to accomplish the Jessica Rabbit look. Now, Jessica Rabbit, you guys know, Roger Rabbit's bet, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Roger Rabbit, by the way, because he got game to pull that. You do realize that Jessica Rabbit is not real. You know, there's a reason why she's able, Jessica Rabbit is able to look so perfect because she's a cartoon and you can draw cartoons to be as flawless or uh, filled with wonderful features as you want them to because they are not real. So your whole goal is to chase something that you can never get to begin with. I'm gonna come up with my own conspiracy theory. Now correct me if I'm wrong. This woman, her husband cheated on her with a woman that is 10 times better looking than she is. And because of that, she feels like she has a void to fill. Maybe the woman that he cheated on her with had a better body. Maybe she had some big titties. Maybe she had a nice butt. Maybe she had something. And because of that, now she feels like she has to continue to enhance her body, you know, to fill this, uh, the, this, this frustration and this pain that continues to linger from their divorce. I could be wrong, but in this scenario, I don't think I am. You literally have to walk down the stairs sideways because it is so difficult for you to get up and down the stairs. If that don't say nothing, bro, I, I don't I don't know what does, man. Wow. I wonder what happens if she were to have kids and like try to breastfeed. I just, don't don't drink that milk. Don't drink that milk. 